I'm gonna restart that. Something flew out of my pocket. <laughs> Welcome back to Point Blank Science, guys. Today I'm gonna to be giving you a direct update on the Javelin project. The build process is already on YouTube. That's the part one. This is just an update kind of thing. I'm not gonna actually show it demonstrated. I'm just gonna go over where I'm at so far. Uh, the external of this is about 90% done. There's a couple things back here which I haven't patched up because they're having to do with the function of it. So I'm not sure how I'm going to 100% do certain things. That's why I haven't painted them. But I wanted to just kind of give you guys an overview. So taking this thing apart is kind of like the real javelin. If I unscrew this back here, the javelin is actually like a clip. This is not a clip. Comes right apart. And then you have the actual, the tube, and then what would be inside of that would be the actual rocket, which I don't have here. I'm still working on that because it is a 43 by five inch diameter rocket that I have to make with deployable fins and it has to fly through the air and it has to do all these things without actually being a weapon. It has to be a prop. So CLU, as you can see, is for the most part done, but I do not have the thermal on the inside. I still need that cup, the whole, you know, part to make that look real. I don't have the eyepiece. I'm probably going to get some sort of camcorder and put it inside of this so you can actually look through it and have a view of the potential fake battleground. Now, when it comes to this part, all the crazy stuff that simulates that first backblast that you see on a javelin is contained back here. So this is kind of crazy, if I can even remember the acronym. It's the P-E-I-G-S-L-S, stupid name. It's the Plasma Electric Ignition Gas Simulated Launch System. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Um, it's got a CO2 canister, which will actually fire the rocket first out of the tube, and the rocket, when it's out of the tube, knows it's out of the tube, and then it will fire from that point, kicking on the rocket motor and flying through the air. Also with that is a 1911 airsoft gas mag. That has the flammable, the flammable green gas inside of it to simulate that fire burst backwards. And all of that is hidden with inside of the actual cap on the back so it looks right. Um, other than that, it's pretty, pretty standard. I have the wires coming so I can wire it together, but when it comes to the javelin, guys, that's really the, that's really everything I have. So I'm going to put it back together for you guys because that's, uh, that's always fun. People like that, right? But what you want to do, I'm going to place this on the ground briefly. Take that cap that you don't do on the real javelin because apparently these are fire and throw on the ground and discard. They're one-time use tubes. Apparently they come shipped with the tube inside of it. That's the yellow band. The yellow band is apparently an indicator that you have live ordinance. That's why it is painted directly on this because they would ship them like this. And then you would take them out and then put them on your CLU, your clue. People tell me to say clue instead of CLU, but you know, I'm just a random guy on the internet. So what do I know? And then your javelin is fully functional and you can see your tank at, you know, 900 meters in Russia or wherever the next time they ship these things off to a strange land that we go to war with, unfortunately. But that's the, the javelin update, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. It's going to be super cool when we finally get to the testing phase of this. We'll have to do it in a very flat, not uh, dry area because over here, if you fired it and this rocket hit the ground, you just burn everything down. And that's not what we want. So uh, thank you guys for sticking along with me and uh, future updates to come.